Okay, so now moving on to the health benefits of wheatgrass specifically. Now, wheatgrass is something that is very rich in nutrients, um, especially in chlorophyll too, which is the substance that actually does give wheatgrass its color green, right? Now, wheatgrass is actually rich in enzymes, um, many different enzymes such as catalase, um, and it actually helps to increase your levels of sod. Um, and that's actually an enzyme in the body that actually acts, that it acts as a natural um, antioxidant and actually targets um, a specific free radical that can damage cells, right? So the thing you need to be aware of is that because you can't actually take SOD as a dietary supplement, um, you do need to get the enzyme and that can only be gotten from your diet specifically. So you can't take it as a supplement, but by consuming food such as wheatgrass, um, that contains it, you will be able to get the daily dosage that you need. Okay. In addition to that, wheatgrass actually contains is very high in vitamin A um, and B complex vitamins too. Um, it's also moder moderately high in or averagely high in vitamin K, potassium, and iron as well. So if you do drink wheatgrass itself, um, it helps to actually boost your energy due to the amount of nutrients and the minerals that you are consuming at the same time. And due to that, you are also boosting your nutrient intake as well. And this is just from one superfood vegetable. Just by consuming this one vegetable, you are actually getting a, a, pretty much a dosage of so many different nutrients and minerals that your body actually needs. Okay. Now, just having one serving of wheatgrass juice per day um, can actually help you in the following ways. Now, number one, it can actually help to prevent cancer. And most of the foods that I do talk about can actually help prevent cancer. And that's due to the fact that SOD is a very powerful antioxidant itself, right? And again, it, it's just like, um, it's just it's just like, because it focuses specifically on free radicals, free radicals that actually do co cause damage to your cells um, that would actually end up causing you cancer, right? So it targets them specifically, similar to other foods such as mangosteen, um, so it will actually prevent you from, um, or at least reducing your risk of getting certain types of cancers, right? Secondly, it helps to boost your energy as well. And there's been almost 70 plus years worth of research done um, on both chlorophyll and the oxygen um, and the oxygen carrier known as hemoglobin, all right? Now, just by drinking wheatgrass, okay, you actually may be able to boost um, your oxygen carrying capacity itself. Um, and that's the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood and help to increase your red blood count as well. So that will further, further do so, make you more energetic, right? Thirdly, it helps in terms of when you're trying to care for your wounds, when you've got little scratches or, or bites or if you've fallen over, you've hurt yourself, those little things there. And that's mainly due to the fact that of the chlorophyll that is um, contained inside of wheatgrass and that's due to the fact that it, it chlorophyll does contain antibacterial properties um, which actually helps to stimulate the healing of the wounds and finally they're also great for healing your own digestive tract too something most people don't actually talk about when it comes to wheatgrass right um there's actually been many journals done um over the past few years that have actually found that wheatgrass has been very beneficial for the treatment of individuals with ulcerative colitis, okay? And that's actually, um, it's a disease of your colon, right? It's when you get an inflamed colon. And this actually also helps to reduce that effect or to heal it, um, as well as other diseases of the gastrointestinal um, tract too.